Pops, I know we talk a lot about modern comics and none of them are very good. Some of you are not finding things that you really are enjoying or want to read. Here's one that I think some of you might be into. Let me give you my thoughts on it. If you haven't called my previous reviews, I will uh, catch you up a little bit here. So Phantom Road over at Image, Jeff Lemire. This story is sort of a Twilight Zone slash... It's, it's more alien stuff or something like that, the X-Files, than it is horror. But it's about a truck driver who runs across an accident situation. And he uh, runs across this prostitute and the partner is dead. And they're, they're sort of like sucked into this world where uh, something's going on. And we're not exactly sure we ever understand what's going on. We're on our fourth chapter. And... They're like end up in this place where they can see these zombie creaturey things. And yet in the real world, they're supposed to kind of like keep towing this item that's in the back of the truck. And then there's this weird guy who sort of like gives him gives them some advice and talks about how they can't escape and those kinds of things. So all right. So here's how we're gonna pick the story up with Birdie and Don. And they're on their truck drive. And there's just a lot of conversation about this is a very character driven story. Uh, this is something that would be very easy to see transferred over to an adaptation for a streaming service at some point, because it's not a, a very expensive product to make or anything like that to adapt. Uh, she's, she's not really woke or anything like that. She's just a very strong, interesting woman. Don is super cool. Deals with a lot of, crap in his own life as far as like loss of a, a child um trying to be a good you know just his, his his life's a mess let's just be honest okay but we don't spin our wheels on that we spend our wheels on this journey of them talking and going to these truck stops and the truck stops are associated with this very strange bear mascotted truck stop right all right so then we have this other character and this flashback to this lady. Now, she, she was in a little later in the story. She's an FBI agent. In the last issue, she was nabbed. And here we're just, we have this sort of like strange masked person who comes in with like MIB with like a really bad mask on. And, you know, she's like, I'm a federal agent. And they start talking to her about, quote, Project Jaff, a Jackknife. And then there's not a lot that comes of this other than like get yourself out of it. And here's this bear. See the bear on this, like, um, that's on a, like a parka, like a rain rain jacket. And she doesn't really know anything. And they kind of give her a knife to get away. And then uh, Bertie gets the idea she's going to go to the back and she, she slams the hammer down on this object that's in the back, even though Don told her not to. And then she has sort of like this flash sequence, right? And then I don't want to get, I'm not going to spoil every little detail with you. Um, the issue does usually foreshadow where the story's going. So, um, as the FBI agent is running through the file that's left for her connecting to her officials, we get met with this guy who, by the way, is still drawn horribly. I have no idea why. Um, Cause the art is not really awful. It's just different, right? It's just, this is the style Gabriel guy, Gabriel Walta. Um, but for some reason, this character has a head that is almost always misproportionate to the rest of his body. It's just very strange to me. So I was reminded very much um, in this issue, maybe it just didn't click earlier. I felt like the animation style or a little bit of things where it's just a little bit off with the color palette of like the men in black animated series where things are just not quite the same or traditional. While this is not a lot of primary colors of the things that I do like in like nineties, you know, capes and tight stories. This works well for like a supernatural alien story or something that's a little bit different. Uh, a lot of detail. Here's a flashback sequence. Um, and these are these creatures, right? So you have one here. She, she bashes one in the head. And you, we, just, we just never really understand what we're dealing with, where we're going, how to get out of it. We know our characters are in this constant flux of being put in harm's way and not... Um, here they don't know how to get away and they, they have to fight a little bit and they leave sort of like some dead uh, creatures behind them. and they look behind and what's, what's in the truck. So I don't want to spoil that part for you, but so let me say this in closing, this is not, if, if you're into like the action stuff, like you're into reading Batman and Spider-Man and that kind of, that's what you're really into. This is not a comic book for you. But if you know, I also kind of like 
you know, maybe more like something a little more boiled, like an alien story or something. We don't quite know what's going on. This may be an okay read for you. It just abrupt. It has it. It has an abrupt ending of issue number five of end of book one kind of thing. So I don't feel like that wrapped anything up. So I'm not exactly sure what to expect or when to expect more of them. I, I I'm not going to read too much into that issue and in, into that sort of like comment of that finality. Um, but I thought that was very very strange, and I did not. I, I I just didn't know what to say there. I just I just thought it was just odd. It says end of book one. And there's just other ads. So I don't know when, when, or if we get more or how that's going to play out. But, um, that was kind of a, a negative, if you will. I mean, I enjoyed it for what it is. I just don't feel like anything wrapped up yet. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm in the mid season break of like Yellowstone, like ticking me off again. Like I don't, I don't like that. I want a story, like give me a beginning and an end, you know, and a journey. And uh, it, it, if that's the end, I'm going to presume that it's not Jeff Lemire, ends of book one implies there's book two or well, there's more to come by the way. So anyway, so that's my take on Phantom Road. I don't know if any of you have caught any of them. I'll put links in the description for my other reviews. If you want to catch my thoughts on the others, maybe see some other art, things like that. I see if it's something you're interested in checking out over uh, image comics. So thanks so much for your time. Thanks so much for uh, partnering on the channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Take care, everybody. I am Pops. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog.